I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a detailed look at the Tortuga Travel Backpack 30 liter, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So this is the smaller version of the travel backpack. There is also a 40 liter version. If that's something that interests you, you can definitely check out our review on that as well. But this is made with the same fabric. Actually, these backpacks are pretty, pretty similar. So a lot of these features you're gonna see are basically the same. It's just a little bit of a smaller version. So starting out with the outside material here, this is their Shell 200 fabric. This is made of three layers like X-Pack. It's a 200, uh, 200D recycled polyester face fabric, 45 degree recycled polyester cross ply, and 70D recycled ripstop polyester backing fabric. So basically, in short, all that means is that this is lighter and stronger than the previous fabric that they were using on the Outbreaker. So a little bit of an upgrade there. You can see, I'll bring it a little bit closer to the camera. It has a really nice sleek look to it. It's a little bit shiny, but I think it still looks good. It's a little crunchy as well, but it's honestly not bad. I still think it's a little bit softer than like an X-Pack. That can be really, really crunchy. So I like this fabric um, a lot better personally. I think it's just a really great fit. So pretty subtle on the outside. We have a Tortuga logo up top. We have YKK lockable zippers throughout. So that's a little bit of added security for you there. In addition to there's a little Tortuga logo on these zipper poles that are really nice and easy to grab as well. We have side, there's just a carry handle on this side here, which is like a nice kind of foamy padding. And then there is a carry handle on the top as well with nice foamy padding. And I think, I think these are really great for just quick grabs um, if you're grabbing it like out of an overhead bin or something like that. And they are well padded enough that it's pretty comfortable to carry relatively long term, especially with the 30 liter, it's gonna be a lot lighter than the 40 liter. You're just gonna have less stuff in here when it's all packed out. And then you have um, no carry handle on this side here, but that's kind of nice because it leaves this water bottle pocket free, which we'll get into in a second. Um, but I just feel like it has a really nice sleek outside here. When it gets all packed out, it still holds its shape really well. It's still pretty structured, so it's just, uh, kind of looking good if this is your style. So this harness system is pretty familiar as well if you know the larger 40 liter pack. So what we have here are two really well padded shoulder straps. There's just a decent amount of padding. You can see it's like a good inch and inch to an inch and a half there. And that is also mirrored in these two back panels. This is that same sort of like, a, it's like a soft kind of squishy feeling, but it still has a pretty decent amount of structure to it. And then a very large air channel in the middle there for a little bit of breathability. On the shoulder strap, we have a sliding sternum strap so you can get really decent micro adjustments there and then on the shoulder or shoulder straps themselves we have down at the bottom just this uh, pretty simple hardware and then a strap keeper as well to manage all of that extra slack then down here we have a removable hip belt so this is actually just velcro so it slides in and out nice and easy um, compared to like a g-hook or something like that which i personally struggle with g-hooks so i like this velcro and it feels really secure i don't, I don't feel like it's going to like detach or anything when i'm wearing it we also have load lifters up top here, which are really great. And then they feed through these little um, like keepers essentially on the shoulder straps to keep that from flying around. And then if you want to adjust the back panel, you can detach the Velcro. It is loud and takes a little bit of time, but once you get it detached, you can adjust this back panel height to be whatever best fits your torso length, which is a really great feature. So onto the actual fit of this pack here, you can see it sits a little bit higher off my shoulders and that's a lot of, um, a lot of credit to this hip belt here for really just lifting things up and then combined with the uh, uh, load lifters on the shoulder straps as well. It is just a really, really comfortable fit. For me personally, I like this 30 liter because it just fits my torso a little bit better. When I had the 40 liter, I had to make the torso length basically as short as it could possibly get. With this one here, I have a little bit more adjustment room and I can kind of find my fit a little bit better. So I like to be able to have that adjustability. Plus the size for me is just a little bit more um, functional for how I pack. 
but in general, in terms of fit, the 40 liter and the 30 liter feel pretty similar in terms of comfort and just wearability. So going through the um, external pockets on this thing, I'm gonna start with this hip belt actually. So we do have a uh, little like decent sized pocket actually on both of this both sides of the hip belt here. So you can stick like a snack or something in here. Um, a phone fits in here as well, I have an iPhone 13. And then, like I said, it comes off pretty easily uh, if you don't wanna use them. All of that strap adjustment as well goes into the action, like it like tucks underneath that pocket, which is great so that you don't have a bunch of extra strap flying around or anything like that. So that gives it a little bit of a sleek look. Um, but for the time being, so that these aren't super, super in the way, I'm just gonna take them off and move them to the side so we can look at some other pockets. So looking at the front of this bag here, uh, we have a front zippered pocket, which is a really great stash spot. You can see it's pretty decently sized. It comes from here down to here and then all the way over to the side of the bag. So I didn't find myself using this pocket a ton. Um, if I did, it would be like something I would need very sparingly that's a little bit flatter, like a hat or a pair of gloves or something like that. But if you're not using this pocket, it doesn't, it's not like a ton of unused space that you're losing. So I really like that and it's pretty sleek. You don't really even see it, honestly, if you have it zipped up. So um, that's really nice. Then we also have this top pocket here. It's a little quick grab pocket. And here is where I keep my phone. And then I have wallet and keys with a little key leash here, nice and simple. And then I have chapstick in here as well. So you can see I was fishing around a little bit in there and that is because this pocket is actually pretty decently sized. There's a good amount of space in there um, to fit basically anything you need for like your daily grab stuff. Oh my gosh, I just have it a little bit a little bit shoved in there, um, but that fit pretty much everything that I need, like quick grab through the airport essentially. And um, I never felt like it was like so big that I was losing stuff in there, but I didn't feel like it was so small that I couldn't fit everything in there. So I thought, I think they did a pretty solid job with the size of that pocket. We also have two water bottle pockets on either side. The Yeti here, um, I believe this is a 21 ounce. Um, and so that fits in there nice and snug. There's elastic on the side here that kind of keeps it locked in. Um, and I think that this is pretty solid. I mean, you can't get like the largest water bottle in the world in here, but it does its job pretty solidly. And then the gusset kind of tucks in there and it lays nice and flat if you're not using it. Same for the other side here, same exact water bottle pocket, but there's no handle here. So if you have a water bottle in here, it's not gonna block that handle um, if you need like quick grabs or something like that. So that's really great. Then we have this top admin panel pocket, which just sort of folds down. Uh, it folds down with the weight of everything that's in this pocket here. And then if you have gear in this front pocket, it can get a little bit clunky to fold that over, um, which is another reason why I left it empty for the most part. But down here, you have a decent amount of space on this bottom side for a packing cube or something like that. Then there's this pocket here, which I would just keep like charging cables or something in there. You can see where the seam ends. It's pretty shallow, so stuff doesn't fall down and get lost. And then we have a few different pockets here for like a passport, back slip pocket for, um, this is like fleece line. So if you wanted to put like a device or something in there and then a couple of different card slots. So the admin panel is pretty solid and functional, which is really great for quick grabs. And then in the back pocket here, we have the laptop compartment. So there is a pretty deep pocket on this side here where I put like my headphones and my uh, mouse and everything like that. And then in the space back here, you have a spot for a up to a 16 inch laptop and then a tablet, a 12.9 inch tablet where I kept my keyboard. Um, and then it just cinches closed with a little tab right there. In general, this is a simpler design than the Outbreaker. Um, this is technically five liters less than the Outbreaker, which it replaces. Uh, the Outbreaker was 35, so there's the 40 and the 30 liter version. But I think between those two, you have a decent amount of storage covered. So going into this main compartment here, like I mentioned, these are lockable YKK zippers. So I'm just gonna open that up really quick. And this opens in a clamshell design, so that is nice. Starting with this side here, um, we have a Tortuga packing cube actually, which if you have that fits nicely in here, you can see it's pretty much just like completely snug in there, which is really great uh, to see those kind of working together. And then we have another packing cube up top here. So a couple of notes on this main compartment here. If you have a lot of stuff packed out in this, this pocket here, this little like laptop compartment storage 
pocket, like I mentioned, it is pretty deep, but the more gear you have in there, the more it kind of butts into the top area of this main compartment. Really not that big of a deal, but it does impact how you sort of pack this out. So when I had this all loaded up, uh, because if this started lifting up a little bit more, I felt like I had less space at the top to actually pack my gear out and a little bit more depth at the bottom to be able to do it. So what I would end up doing is I would put like jeans and thicker items down here if I wasn't using cubes or put my thicker cube down here. And then I would put like more rolled up t-shirts at the top or something like that. So that worked out really great for me. Um, I found that this size did a really good job. They say it's for like two to five days of travel. For me, I felt like I could get honestly like a week out of this, maybe even a little bit more if you start to like rewear a lot of the same stuff, if you get like clothing that can be worn a couple times in a row. So for me, that this size was great. As I mentioned before, it felt a little bit better, especially in the summertime because your clothing's just gonna be a little bit thinner in general because you're not wearing like sweaters and that kind of stuff. So that was really great for that. Um, the, pot, the sides are like a little bit shallow and part of that is because some of the depth goes to this top panel here. So in this section, we have a zippered compartment where it opens up. Um, this is where I kept like cubes. You could put your dirty clothes in here, but I felt like that was a little bit overkill. I almost would need like a separate cube cube to have my dirty clothes in because this little compartment is honestly not that little. Um, if you look at it, there's a decent amount of depth here to be able to load your gear in. And that's great if you wanted to say, I don't know, you can probably fit like this packing cube and another packing cube in here and close that up. And if you wanted to segment that even more then you have basically like two buckets of space to work with. But for this here, I put most of my stuff in this main compartment and then this pocket was more for like, um, like a toiletry bag or um, like a cosmetic thing if that's something that I was bringing. Maybe if I had extra tech, it would go in there. And so it's kind of acts as like a separate pouch, if you will, or a secondary compartment. Uh, and then with this zippered pocket, I had the same feedback on the 40 liter with uh, the opening direction. So this opens toward the bottom of, or the center of the pack. And I can see the logic in that because if you were to open this up then, and like, let's say you had this open, you forgot you left it open and then you close the pack if the opening was facing upward you'd be more at risk of everything flying out like out of your bag versus this way it would potentially fall either into your bag or at least be kept in place by this center seam. But for me, from a functionality standpoint, when I'm somewhere and I'm not unpacking my bag when I get there, what I like to do is I'll have the bag closed and then when I need something, I'll flip it open really quick, grab what I want and be done. But with this one here, with that way that pocket is, I can't grab from the top. And so for me, that's just how I function and how I kind of got used to using certain bags. So with this one, it was a little bit of a learning curve for me. Not gonna to say it's a deal breaker. I think that this is a super, super functional bag, so I'm not going to really knock it for that. Um, but it is something that I had to, uh, to adjust to because I am somebody who likes to just kind of like open, grab, and go. And then if you wanted to open really quick and even grab something because it zips on the bottom, you have to sort of like hold it up if there's nothing like structured there to keep it open. So just a little bit of a learning curve, but in general, you have a lot of space to work with in this main compartment, and there's a lot of customization options if you use Q and pouches and that sort of thing. So there you have it, the Tortuga Travel Backpack 30 liter. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.